Battlefield 2042 news is heating up and yesterday we got a new little teaser video and some information about the game. So I thought that I'd jump on BF4 today and play some Gunmaster to celebrate the fact. And basically what it was, there was a little video posted on Twitter. I'll play it now if you haven't seen it, just so you can see what it is. Essentially, on August the 12th, there's going to be a nine minute cinematic video about BF2042. That was my kill, dude. And it's going to cover the story of the game. And apparently it will set up the war that's going on in 2042. A bit of lore, a bit of story. Nine minutes long and it looks like it's proper... CGI high budget stuff. It's gonna be really interesting to see what they do there because yeah there's no single player in the game. All the narrative is gonna be in the multiplayer and the live service. That guy just ruined me there with that DAO 12. I mean you didn't really get much from the video but you see some cool looking ospreys flying into a storm. There's the big ship which is probably the USS Raven Rock which has been mentioned before when they've done teasing for the game. It must be an important part of the story that. There's a guy right here. Took a while. Now the most interesting part of it for me is when that soldier runs through the streets and they're holding a modern looking weapon. You can't see their face but it looks like they've got a hood on and it also... There's a guy just hiding behind that bush. Well that was easier than I expected it to be. It also looks like they're wearing a ballistic mask on their head. And that particular mask looks incredibly similar to the Chinese support from BF4. Again, I'll put a picture up on the screen here so you can see it and have a little comparison. Oh my god. Dude just wrecked me with that M60. Yeah, so it could be that BF4 and BF2042 operate in the same universe. Maybe the story of BF3, BF4 is connected to BF2042 and this is almost a sequel to those games. And that's a really interesting proposition for me because... Jeez. Because imagine if BF4 stuff turned up in BF2042. Imagine if we get remade BF4 maps and weapons, gadgets, whatever it might be, in BF Portal. Because we've got BF3, BC2 and 1942. So why not BF4? Why not do a remake of everyone's favourite meat grinder, Operation Locker? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It could be fun. Oh, you were creeping up on me, dude. But yeah, there's so many iconic maps in BF4, really. Tons to choose from if they ever wanted to go down that route. Now, alongside this little video teaser, They've launched a new website. It's got a bit of an interactive map on it with a few things that you can click on. That guy must have been really low HP. What's this? 338 maybe? I think so. And on that map, there's notes from a journalist that's living in this uh, 2042 world and explaining their story. And every day leading up to the 12th when they show the cinematic, they're going to release updates for that. M60 again, man. Keep getting killed by that. There's a couple of new screenshots as well that they tweeted. Oh god, I hate this gun so much. It sucks. Yeah, the screenshots are pretty nice. I mean, difficult to tell really if they're in-game or are they concept art. Because the parts of it look like it's in-game. Parts of it look like a uh, screenshot. So, I don't know. Oh my god, oh there's a guy right on me. I'm being chased. It's a bulldog, isn't it? Yeah, I think the uh I think their concept art, but they've just been drawn to look like they're in game. But they look sick. Okay, I'm getting out of there. 
Someone chasing me here. Yeah, I have a feeling that every day they do an update for this uh, fictional journalist. They might release a couple of world screenshots or concept art. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that's a, a screenshot or concept art? I think based on that sandstorm in the background, it's it's concept art. Pretty neat either way though, because it did end up looking like that in the trailer. Who puts a scope on a Unica 6? I can't quite get the angle here. And now there's someone rushing me. You know what, I'm going. I need to just get lucky with this. Or just spam it. That works. Or just get up close, you know? One more kill with this thing. Who killed you? Oh, Deagle. That's more like it. Yes. Someone coming up. Maybe not. Is it friendly? No, not like this. The railgun. Dice, please. <laughs> I have to charge it up. Was that not a hit? Come on. It's more like it. Got to lead a tiny little bit. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sneeze. Should I leave that in the video? I'm sure we've had a sneeze before. Not the bow. It's almost as bad. Whoever made this uh, rotation for Gunmaster is an absolute troll. Because right at the end, I mean, people are just going to be catching up with you, aren't they, when you've got guns like this? And the combat bow in BF4 is one of the worst combat bows in video games. Oh my god, how did I miss that? There we go. Only shot in the back. Free kill for you there, mate. Enjoy that. Yeah, so, uh, the BF-2042 stuff, that's the knife, it's really exciting, you know, it's August, guys, beta next month, that'll fly by, look at the way the character runs in this game, <laughs> ow, that's mean, I'm trying to get my knife kill. I want this guy here. No, stop it. Oh my... Look what I've been killed by. <sighs> yeah, the panda runs around like a toddler or something. No, that's bad. That's an explosion. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating trying to get this knife kill. This guy. Are they wearing a headset? Oh my... Dude. I could have won. This is their spawn over here. Unless it's flipped. I think it's flipped. Cool. There's what, one knife kill? That's all we need. There's no friendlies here, so there's got to be enemies. One there. There's a dude here. Oh, mate, you're mine. Yes! <laughs> we got it. GG. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Cheeky little teaser for 2042 as well. A couple of screenshots, bit of lore. If you're into that, go read it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.